Hey, what is up guys? This is Stably Online and this is the Head Tracker Pro. A small head tracking device that will attach to your headset, track and monitor your head movements and input those very movements into in-game. So to start with I'm going to do a kind of a re-unboxing video. Within the contents you get two pieces of paper explaining what drivers are installed on your Red Tracker Pro and how to calibrate your device. A micro B USB cable which I must add is an optional extra. But after reading online apparently any micro B USB cable will work with the Red Tracker Pro. And finally we get to the Red Tracker Pro itself. The device is small, light and it's built very very well. Now the device doesn't actually come with anything to attach to your headset so you have to improvise a little bit. I've used Valco strips here which is one option they recommend. Another option they recommend is using elastic bands. You can either see this as a plus or a minus. Personally I see it as a plus because they're trying to keep the cost of the unit down which is what the AirTracker Pro is all about. This whole kit you see now delivered to your door will cost you £51 in the UK. Overseas it may cost you a little bit more. Now attaching the AirTracker Pro to your headset is as simple as plugging in the USB cable, attaching the device to your headset and then running the length of the cable along the length of your headset cable. So now let's head on over and have a quick look at the software that's provided with the AirTracker Pro. I won't go too far into it because there's already some really good tutorials online, I'll leave those links in the description below, but it will give you a rough idea of what to expect. So here we are in the AirTracker Pro software. And the first thing the software is going to ask you to do is to calibrate your device running through the setup wizard. Very easy to do, even gives you an on-screen video for you to look at and you just copy whatever it's doing. Once you finish the setup wizard you can attach the device to your headset. I haven't done so here because I want to show you how responsive the device is. And as you can see on screen it's very responsive. Within the software you can set up different profiles for different games. So some games you may want the AirTracker Pro to be very responsive and some games not. You can also set up a key on your keyboard, mouse, joystick to recenter the device. This comes in really handy if you get up from your seat and then come back because the chances are your head's not going to be in the same position. Okay, so now we've had a brief look at the software, let's see how it performs in games. We're coming in Elite Dangerous and at the moment the Air Tracker Pro is switched off. In Elite Dangerous there's a toggle button you need to push and it's your middle mouse button so I'll go ahead and push that. And now as you can see it's monitoring my head movements and implementing them in game. It's not quite centre when I'm looking at the centre of the screen it's a little bit to the right so I'm just gonna Hit the recent key and march better. So you can really have a good look around your ships. You can also access your computer models, uh, modules pretty easy. And the same as your navigation here. So we want, I'm going to navigate somewhere so we can try and do a bit of bounty hunting so I can show you how this affects when you're playing. And whenever you don't want to use the head tracker, Four, just switch it off. Three, Fine, two, do what you want. One, Whatever. Engage. You could also bound that middle mouse button to a, a button on your joystick or keyboard or whatever you're using, but I'm using an old joystick and I'm limited to buttons. So what's great about the Air Tracker Pro is that it it's so much more immersive to play this game, like flying around this astro field here and trying to locate your targets just by moving your head, which is so natural. So let's try and find someone. Got a few people here. So let's see what you've got on you. 
He's wanted. Let's first warrant scan him. Oh, I didn't reload my cannons. So this could be interesting. Normally these little Imperial Eagles are not really worth that much. Oh, you're attacking someone now. Let's have a look see what he's worth. Where's my contacts? James Matthew was in there. 10,000. Mm. Well, it's better than nothing. There we go. Target destroyed. So now we've looked at Elite, let's take a look at your truck simulator too. Okay, so here we are in Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now to get a tracker to work in this game you have to run a program called Open Track. Um, I won't go into too much details but it is very easy to set up and there's loads of tutorials online you can check out. I'll leave a couple of links in the description. Um, so at the moment it's, it's enabled, uh, disabled sorry, it's not working. I'm just going to go ahead and enable it. And as you can see, it works pretty well as well. In OpenTrack you have to set up two different axes where my left turn is completely different to my right turn because you can see the right turn you essentially look out the window and look behind you and your left turn you only look to your left and that's as far as you go. Let's start up, take up a little drive and uh, you can see how well it works in this. I do think I have it slightly too sensitive, but for this purpose of this test, we we make do of it. Let's head towards Cambridge. Checking your mirror is fine, just a quick turn. There's a slight dead zone, you can probably see that I'm moving my head now and it's not picking up. I've set that up on purpose, can be quite sensitive sometimes. So, can we head left down here? Should we head left? Oh. Sorry bud, are you going to let me go? You don't really have much choice do you? Yeah, thank you. Now if I didn't have the air tracker then, I would have been in serious problems. I would have pulled straight out of him and it would have slammed straight into me. But that's your truck simulator too. Let's test one more game. Let's test out Armour 3. Here we are in Armour 3 and it works just as well as it does in any other game. You've got your toggle switch obviously and then you've got your, your recenter so if you want to look to your left and recenter it so that way for you is straight on or that way. It's every way you're comfortable. Um, I haven't used it much in combat, to be honest, uh, but it really comes in handy is when flying the choppers. Third person mode, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it works, but you lose that immersion that you'd get in, say, first person. I mean, fine, you can sort of hold the gun there and be looking to your left while you're moving up, but first person mode really gives you that immersion feeling. I do like it.
Alright, let me just show you in a heli quickly. So again, you can look around. You really get to use the whole of that window screen when you're flying. You'll see what I mean in a minute. And again, when you're landing, you can look at the floor. You can also check out your mate. Again, if you prefer, you can go in that view just fine. That's what I mean by using the hold of window screen. I mean, using the air tracker and flying the chopper now makes it so much easier where compared you'll be fixed in one position. So if I was, let me just hold it into, if I was in this position, to look to my left, I would have to get eyes on my left, or hold the alt key and lick my mouse like that. Fine if you use mouse and keyboard, but obviously I don't. I can't fly with mouse and keyboard. I've used controller. So guys, if you can probably tell, I really, really like this device. It's made every game I've tried on so much more immersive. And when I try and play those games without the head tracker, I feel like I'm at a disadvantage. Price-wise, if you don't get the optional USB, the device will cost you forty-five pound plus a four-pound delivery. So forty-nine pound delivered to your door. If that's too expensive for you, you can also build this yourself. Yeah. The guys at AirTracker will sell you the internals for you to make yourself. You may have to supply some parts from somewhere else, but hey, I mean, you could probably build one of these for around £20-£22. And when you consider Track IR, retails at £160. Now, I can't compare this to Track IR because I've never used Track IR before. I would love to try Track IR and give it a go because it does look very good too, but for a cheap alternative, you have to admit, this is really good. And you can make it even cheaper by not buying the case for Metracker and do what Dave Compton did and stick it in the Tic Tac box. It's a win-win. Guys, if you're into your Metracking and you're looking at it and you're thinking, hey, I would like to give Metracking a go, definitely consider this little box. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.